Hi, my name is Rob Platika from Eurodis, the European Rare Disease Organization. You can find out more about us at eurodis.org. Today I'd like to do a special demonstration of the TMAU community. So first of all, the TMAU community is a part of the Rare Connect project, viewable online at www.rareconnect.org. The Rare Connect project resulted from a Nord and Eurodis partnership started in 2009. The first community on Rare Connect was for CAPS disorders, and there are now 29 disease specific communities there, including for TMAU. The goal of this partnership was to really think globally on ways that Nord and Eurodis could support their members in rare disease patients. Those ways include Rare Connect, Rare Disease Day, and even the Rare Disease Blogs. So, Rare Connect. The mission of Rare Connect patient-centered communities is to help patients with rare diseases achieve a better quality of life through reliable information, global connections, and access to trusted resources. Eurodis and Nord work with disease-specific patient organizations to provide a safe environment for patients and their families. In the case of the TMAU community, Eurodis and Nord partnered with Mebo Research and TMAU UK to uh, have moderators on the TMAU community um, that both feed information to the community while also ensuring that only quality safe information is shared. So the basic principles of Rare Connect are that the project is guaranteed by Eurodies and Nord. Eurodies and Nord take care of the web hosting and security. This is a long-term project for us. There are one support staff in the US and two in the EU uh, based in uh, Barcelona, Spain dedicated community managers uh, that help out on the TMAU community and support the moderators. The governance or ownership of the community really belongs to the patient organizations involved and to the members of the site. RareConnect can be thought of as a tool to empower these patient organizations and patients to connect. We take care of the funding for the project. Uh, we do webinars for moderators and we try to establish international connections between our members um, here at Eurodis in Europe and between and with the members of Nord in the United States. So now let's have a quick visit uh, of the TMAU community. So here you can see the TMAU community can be found at this web address. Uh, the TMAU community is split up into three sections, understand, stories of living with the disease, meet, or the forum, and learn, where you can find information and resources. You also notice here that the uh, community and all the communities on Rare Connect are uh, in five languages, German, English, Spanish, French, and Italian, with the translation done by human translators. We'll show you a bit more about that. First, let's look at the Understand section. You'll see there's announcements about the webinar series that's been going on, uh, audio links to, um, from recent news broadcasts, uh, Maria's story. So Maria added her story from her profile, um, which uh, any member of the website can do uh, by just going to Profile uh, and then Write a Story. So it can be sharing experience about your path to diagnosis, what treatments you're trying, uh, and really just kind of introducing yourself to the community. Once that uh, story is published, uh, we, the community managers, translate it across the web, have it translated uh, by a third-party service across the website's five languages. Uh, also, I'd like to show you a video um, that we uh, did not create here, but that we borrowed from uh, Mebo Research, and we're able to actually close caption into the website's five languages. So here's Cheryl, uh, TMAU advocate, talking about her work, her life, her diagnosis, managing the disease, uh, and we were able to have that captioned into all the languages to share her story and experience, which is very inspirational with others in the community. Uh, next.
next, let's um, have a look at the patient group section, which is direct links, as I mentioned, to the um, three patient groups that are involved in moderating and supporting um, the community. Uh, those are direct links to their website. Uh, next, in the meet section, our forum, I'd like to show you how the translation feature um, works. So you start a new discussion like that by hitting start a new discussion. Uh, it's pu uh, published by clicking on share. You can add tags um, which can make um, the conversations easier to, to find uh, later on. Um, so um, if you want to ask for a translation, um, everything on there right now is in English. So let's pretend we're a French user of the website. And we see this about genetic test sites. And maybe we don't want to click on this link yet until we understand these first couple words. And maybe our English just isn't that good. So this here in French says no translation in French for this content yet. Ask for it. So it's written exactly the same if you were trying to get a translation into English. After clicking uh, ask for it, it tells you that the post will be sent to a third-party translation service who, within uh, a few hours, will have that post translated. They'll upload it there automatically on the forum so the next person can see uh, the translation. And they'll also send it to your email uh, inbox so that you can understand that post uh, with a higher quality translation than just Google Translate. Uh, so you would just click on here, ask for a translation. It's just telling us that it's going to be sent to our email. So uh, that's a unique feature that allows for conversations about quality of life issues, uh, treatments, uh, diets, to really go across languages. So we're excited uh, to offer that here on Rare Connect. Uh, you also see the members of the site, um, which you can uh, ask to become friends with, uh, and then later send private messages to once you're friends with them. Uh, so I sent a friend request there. <coughs> Just go back to the meet section. Uh, you'll see community news, which is um, recent links that were shared um, to, to third party websites. Um, many just having quality information about the disease uh, testing maybe clinical trials or uh, recently published scientific articles on PubMed. So that is your form. Next, let's go into the learn section or the information and resources. Uh, so all these information and resources uh, were offered or shared uh, from the participating patient groups. You see we have frequently asked questions by Nigel Manning, one of the uh, premier researchers in TMAU. Uh, again, links to the patient groups because this website, uh, this Rare Connects TMAU community, can be seen as a second line uh, of resources and support. Uh, if, if a patient or a family member has specific questions in the United States or in the UK, we'd, we'd ask them to contact that patient group first, um, and then if they would like to get an international perspective on their question or need, post it on our form. Uh, documents, again, this is about the diagnost diagnostic testing again. Uh, articles, this is more scientific uh, and information um, articles um, from trusted uh, sor sources like Orphanet, uh, the Rare Disease Encyclopedia, and NORD, uh, which also has rare disease reports. Finally, events that are relevant to the TMAU community. Um, so, I hope that gave you a quick understanding um, of the TMAU community. Um, I just have a few more slides now to show you. Uh, to talk about the opportunities, um, I think on the TMAU community we can really build international awareness of this disease and highlight the patient's perspective. Um, what, what the Yahoo groups and the different TMAU listservs do not do is serve non-English speakers. Um, so we'd like to offer the TMAU community 
on RareConnect is a place for relationship building across border and languages using that human translation feature I showed you. Um, the moderators are going to make sure that misinformation um, is, is minimized and, and not shared there on the forum. Um, and that gives the, the patient groups really uh, a role and a responsibility to play uh, quality assurance, uh, to, to ensure quality assurance when, when information is being shared with their members. And we hope eventually that with enough information on stories and uh, techniques for daily living shared on the TMAU community, that we can synthesize uh, that information or summarize it uh, to create uh, fact sheets or, or things uh, like resources for, for patients that really uh, summarize the patient's perspective. Uh, in terms of Rare Connect, our plans for the future are to continue to grow on the portal to serve diseases with uh, little existing patient support groups or, or information available. Um, we'd like to and are improving currently the user experience um, through technical improvements. Uh, for example, I showed you how to re request a translation using the Ask For It or Demandele link in French. Uh, well, we'd like to add an icon, and we'll be adding an icon to that to make it a bit more visible. Um, yeah, we, we'll, we'll have three um, community managers starting in the middle of September, um, and we will be adding new features so that the moderators from the patient groups can add uh, and curate more content on the site and don't have to rely on the community managers at Eurodice and Nord to add so much. Thanks a lot for watching this. Um, if you have any questions on the TMAU community, uh, please write me an email. Uh, you see my address up there, robert.platica at eurodice.org. You can visit the TMAU community uh, via that link and click on join to register today. And you can also follow uh, the Rare Connect project and some of the action on the other 28 communities besides TMAU on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks so much for watching and have a good day.